Hello and welcome to Technocare Industries SAP Geek. This is Anurag and today we are going to start a new series of videos on payroll mashup configuration. Many of you have asked me to create videos on this configuration. So today we are going to start with part 1 of the entire set of configuration. So subsequently I'll be releasing multiple parts for uh, payroll mashup configuration which would cover the entire set of settings configurations required in different systems the purpose of this video is to cover very first step in the payroll mashup configuration which is SICF services and session management we'll be seeing how to activate service SAML to CDC EXT service activating sessions in SSCF sessions and then creating URLs for all the services that are needed in employee center the very first thing that we need to complete is we need to activate this service SAML2 in this SICF transaction what is SAML2 basically in your in our subsequent videos we'll come to know that SAML2 configuration enables the single sign-on for employee employee self-service many of you must be knowing for those of you who don't know this when we call payroll applications into employee central system these are two different systems so ideally what would happen is if single sign-on is not enabled and from employee central if I'm trying to call any service via URL okay uh, from S4 HANA or any other payroll system it would ask for a user credential for enabling that single sign-on so that employee does not has to does not have to log in again and the screen for login does not appear again at employees end when he's trying to access the payroll applications we need to perform configuration in SAML2 so before doing that configuration first of all prerequisite is to activate this service SAML2 in SIC we have to just go to SICF transaction in the service name we have to write SAML2 execute and then right click on this service and activate this is the first step second step is activating EXT service so CDC EXT service in a similar way that we activated SICF for SAML2 we will activate CDC EXT service as well so this is also required for SAML2 configuration to start so that will be seeing in the upcoming videos so this is the second step of configuration in the third step what we do is we actually go to the SICF underscore sessions transaction okay and when we go to that transaction you will see a screen like this something like this here we need to select the client which we need to integrate with the success factors employee central instance so let's say all my data is in this 300 client so my client id or my client number would be 300 and i have to make sure that this state is active okay, if it is not active i just have to select the row and click on this active button to get it activated the one of uh, one of the prerequisite for activating the services to be called from outside your S4 system now we need to activate and create URLs for all the applications that we need to call from employee central so we one by one we'll be seeing all the different applications uh, we'll be seeing payslip we'll be seeing form 16 we'll form 12b we uh, tax simplifier statement standard and an uh, example of a custom service as well so for those of you who don't know custom services also from, can be called from employee central uh, which are present in and con present and configured in the s4 hana system so how to create urls for a slip so what I would do is for all the viewers I will also paste this uh, 
sample URL into the description of the video from which you can take this uh, and try it out at your system as well what we need to do is basically what you need to do for enabling or creating your own URL for payslip you need to keep whatever part is not highlighted as it is okay and you need to replace the uh, highlighted part with the, your respective system details like for example here you need to put web dispatcher URL of S4 system if you don't know what is web dispatcher URL for S4 system you can actually contact your basis team uh, to get one so that what what he have he will have to do is he will have to expose the S4 HANA system uh, to internet okay via the web dispatcher and he will be able to give you a URL that can be uh, used for accessing your S4 HANA system on the internet browser any of the internet browser so this is the web dispatcher URL for S4 HANA system then again this would be port number typically it is 8000 or 8001 then this is the client ID client number what is the client number when we came back on the previous step I, I said that all my payroll data is present in employee data payroll data is present in client 300 so in my example this would be 300 in your example it can be any client number in your system okay one more important thing that you need to make sure while creating this standard service is when you try to test this standard service from SICF you will not get this parameters okay but you need to add these parameters in this URL so for example each and every application has separate parameters and like language and WD config ID okay so for standard service it will be always present you just need to search them either in LPD underscore CUST transaction or uh, over internet also you will very easily get uh, links wherein you will identify what should be the config ID for a particular service standard service that you want to access from employee central moving on to the form 16 service in form 16 service as as you can see the format is exactly same but the service that we are using is different so service for payslip is hressa underscore payslip okay and for form 16 it is hressa rep in in form 16 the rest of the details are exactly the same that we followed for pace uh, payslip uh, again this this uh, form 16 is also a standard application so for this particular application whatever are the parameter pattern parameters that also you will have to include in the so this form 16 has three parameters SAP language SAP WD config ID and country grouping okay whereas payslip had only two parameters SAP language and SAP WD config ID moving on to tax simplifier statement again tax simplifier statement is very very similar to form 16 URL okay uh, the only difference being the service name and the application parameter okay so how many applications are there services are there in standard that you can easily search in uh, SICF or LPD CUST uh, to get country wise whatever applications are available in standard that can be uh, accessible from employee center similar to tax simplifier statement uh, there is another standard application form 12 bb okay so the only again the difference is in the service name and the application parameters after form 12 bb i'll just give you an example of a custom service so let's say we have created a custom service in our s4 hana system and we want to access it from the employee center that custom service can be anything like let's say a form or a application or a custom program okay so here we have uh, i have given an example of a custom program as you uh, must be aware that tax employer statement is only available for employee and not admin so in s4 hana system we have created a custom service which, which is actually a custom program uh, which gives administrator an option 
to employ to enter the employee number of the uh, employee and check the tax simplifier statement of that employee so uh, we first had to create a custom program then we have to configure a custom service corresponding to that program okay once that service is made available in SICF and activated in SICF after that we can go ahead and create uh, this URL for a custom service so this is uh, just an example that I have given uh, for tax simplifier statement admin so this can be any other custom service as well okay so when 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 we have uh, URL when we create URL for custom service we have to make sure that uh, again these uh, these highlighted items remains the same we have to also make sure that the part that is a part of the service okay which is in SAP BC uh, this this is exactly matching with the path available in SICF okay and that we also uh, follow the client ID by a hash okay so that was it for part one of payroll mashup configuration rest of the topics will covered in the upco upcoming videos